welcome back to my channel by the end of this video we should hopefully be looking the complete opposite than what we look right now which is a hot mess express okay special shout out to kids colors and care for sponsoring this video i am beyond excited because i'm doing something to my hair that I've never done before and that is a clay mask. I'm so excited. So the one that we're going to be using is by Kiss Colors and Care. So this is their ancient Mayan Indian healing clay. So this is one of those clay powders that you mix in with things to create a little concoction and you can actually use this for hair, skin and also your body. So today we're going to be using it mainly on my hair. If I have left over, I would love to test it out on my face as well to kind of see how it's going to work for my skin. But I'm very, very excited. Clay is really good for like detoxing and I guess kind of giving our hair specifically a really nice reset, which is exactly, it's exactly what I need. I need, I need this, I need this to get better. I need it to be better. So we're going to go ahead and dig into all of that. I'm very, very excited. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right. So before we actually jump in, I want you guys to comment below right now. I'm really, really curious how many of you have actually used a clay mask in your hair? Everybody has used a clay mask on their skin, potentially on their body as well, but have you used one on your natural hair? I'm really curious. So this is me at about three and a half years natural, never done a clay mask. So that's kind of why I'm like really, really excited to test this out and see what it's like. So as I said, this clay mask, it is 100% natural calcium bentonite. So the basic benefits of a clay mask is really just detox, a detox reset. You know when you're using a clay mask for your face, it's like kind of pulling stuff out of your pores. It's detoxing your skin. It's really, really great for people like me who have acne prone skin. So I have a ton of clay masks that I use on my skin weekly. Well, it does the same kind of thing for your hair. It kind of detoxes the hair from buildup, which is a huge, huge thing for curly girls. Buildup can be a nightmare and it can cause a whole string of issues like frizz, dryness, like all the things that you don't want in your hair can usually be caused by buildup. So using something like this every once in a while is usually something really, really good to have as part of your natural hair regimen to make sure that you are avoiding buildup as much as possible. Even if you're using like shampoos on a regular basis, it's just inevitable with the amount of products we use, especially me, I'm constantly testing new products all the time. So I just feel very excited and I feel like this is gonna be 100% necessary for my hair right now because she needs, we need some help. All right, so let me open this up and give you guys an idea of how it comes packaged. So first it has this little, ooh. I love the amount of instructions and the amount of information that comes with this thing. Not only is it like printed on the jar, but it also came with this cute little thing that is talking about like how you can use this mask based on your specific skin type. So if you have dry, normal, or oily to very oily skin, there's different ways that you can mix the mask and make it perfect for you specifically. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just the clay right here in like powder form, I guess you could call it. And then it also comes with this really nice plastic scoop inside. Okay, so before we start mixing this clay, I did want to get into a bit of a before on this hair. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I feel like I've got <laughs> Quite a bit of buildup on my hair if you look closely you should be able to see like little specks of product that has just built up over my hair over the last couple of days and my hair is just it needs a deep cleanse it needs that detox reset and it's it's literally like the perfect timing for me to actually try this product so let's do this let's start mixing i have got my little white bowl and plastic utensil because it said non-metal for whatever reason. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start by adding this full bottle of apple cider vinegar. It is organic, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. So it looks like this is about four tablespoons worth of apple cider vinegar. Let me see if this spoon has measuring dimensions on it. I don't think it does, but I think just eyeballing it, it looks like it would be a tablespoon. So what I'm gonna do is start by just adding four tablespoons of clay, I'm assuming I'm still gonna need more in order to cover all my hair, but that's just what we're gonna start with. Oh my gosh, it's like bubbling. I feel like I'm doing a science experiment. <laughs> it is literally like bubbling. It's like reacting to sitting inside the apple cider vinegar. Well, that's interesting. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit of filtered water. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the bowl. 
And I'm just gonna add like a little bit at a time and just keep mixing until I get the desired consistency. So this is looking pretty watery right now. We're definitely gonna have to add some more clay to this to thicken it up. I mean, this definitely has a lot more body to it. I definitely just wanna make sure that we have enough because I don't wanna like be putting this in my hair and then all of a sudden I'm like, dang it, I need more. Because we also don't have any more apple cider vinegar, so this is gonna have to be it. All right, I think we're good to go. Hopefully this is gonna be enough. This is what we've got so far. All right, so the next step now is to go ahead and wet my hair. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wet it, section it. And then we're gonna dig into this clay. Oh my, my hair is wet and we're almost ready to go. But I almost forgot to mention that you can actually add mask boosters to target specific concerns. These are the mask boosters at the bottom here. If we could just get this to focus. Right, and it tells you what the boosters are and what like their purposes are. I think for today, just for me and where my hair is at right now, I think I'm just going to stick to the detox, just the base mask, just because I just feel like that's what my hair needs right now. And then for my skin, maybe we can add some matcha and aloe vera gel to see how it works on my face. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> We're just gonna go on in with the clay. Here we go. It literally feels like mud. Ooh. Okay, so of course clay is not gonna have any slip. I don't know why I thought that I was gonna be able to comb this through. <laughs> it's not gonna have slip. Maybe the aloe vera would have been good for the slip, but we just need the detox, baby. I'm also gonna make sure that I'm applying it to my roots so that my scalp can get the detox benefits as well. I'm just trying to make sure that everywhere is nice and saturated. So I may need to do smaller sections so that the clay mask can get everywhere without me having to comb it through. It's interesting because I feel like it's actually clumping my curls. Like, do you see this? It's like curl definition <laughs> that's happening here. So I kind of like that. And it's just in there. It's in there like swimmer, you know? Okay, here we go. This clay is fully saturated throughout my hair. The thing that's surprising me the most right now is this level of curl definition. Like what? I am loving the way that it is just making these curls pop right now. All up in the scalp and everything. Okay, so so far this feels Really great for curl definition. Obviously it has 0% moisture. So that's obvious though and that's fine because this is the first step of our wash and I have plenty of opportunity to do like more moisture intensive things. I'll probably do like a moisturizing deep treatment later on after we've shampooed and everything just to make sure that we're balancing. But so far, this is real nice, real nice. I just love to see the curls pop. I think that's my favorite part so far. And good news, we do have a little bit of leftover that I can use for my face. But before I actually put it on my face, I am gonna go ahead and add the mask boosters. So I'm gonna add a little bit of aloe. And then I'm also gonna use this matcha, which they sent me as well. And that is supposed to be for, what did it say? anti-aging and anti-inflammatory. And then the aloe is for moisturizing and cooling. So, sounds great for my skin, honey. All right, so here we are. That didn't really change the consistency too much. It's still like thick, but not too thick. It's like that's still that perfect consistency to me. So, I'm literally just gonna go ahead and apply it to my face. Actually, I'm a little curious. I'm just gonna take a little glob just because we have extra anyway, and I'm just gonna add this portion to the ends of my hair. I feel like my ends are the driest, so if we could just add a little bit of that moisture from the aloe, I think that'd be really, really good for my ends. I'm just all about experimenting today. We're just going with the flow. All right, so let's do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and woo, rub it onto my face. It does feel cooling, like it feels, it feels cold. Boom, there we have it. We are double masked up. I'm actually gonna go ahead and roll my hair up and it says to add a shower cap so that you avoid your hair actually like over drying with this clay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I look all types of crazy right now, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta look crazy in order to look good, right? Am I right? 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this in for 30 minutes and then I'll meet you guys back in the shower to rinse this out and see what a curl I look like. All right, so it is time to rinse this out now. You can clearly see I already rinsed off my face. It was getting really dry on there and it didn't need to sit on the skin as long as it needs to sit in hair. So my skin so far is feeling really good. I feel like it even has a little bit of a glow as well, which is nice. And then also for my hair, I was hoping that the clay mask wouldn't like dry down the way it dried down on my skin. I didn't want that in my hair and it actually hasn't fully really dried down, which is good which is good because I just was like a little nervous. I didn't want my hair to be like <laughs> frozen solid um, with the clay. My hair is just, like I said, it's still feeling really nice and defined clearly. So <laughs> I'm excited to get into the rest of this wash. Oh my God, look at all the clay. The clay in my edges definitely hardened. You guys can probably tell here, um, but we'll just rinse that out and that won't be an issue at all. So rinsing is gonna be a whole task, I think. It's really, really important to make sure we're getting every single bit of this clay out of our hair. What I'm gonna do is actually just do a full, like just water rinse and I'm gonna rinse out in sections to make sure I'm not only getting it out of my hair but also getting it out of my scalp as well. Um, <laughs> okay, first things first, curl definition. If I can start my wash day like this every single time with this level of curl definition, you just know it's about to be good. Look at how much my curls are clumping together. Look at this. Literally all we've done so far is just rinse out the clay mask with just water alone and my curls are looking so poppin'. So you can clearly tell by the, the state of my curls right now that this is a bomb detox for your curls because think about it, like when your hair is full of all of that buildup, it's hard for the moisture to get back in. When your curls aren't moisturized, they're gonna be more frizzy and they're not gonna clump together like this. So because we've detoxed it and taken out the clay which took out all of the buildup that I had on top of my curls, Boom, the curls are receiving water better, they are clumping, they are defining, and we haven't even gone into shampoo or deep treatment yet. Like, <laughs> what? I think this may officially become a part of my regular routine because you guys know I have like my little scalp detox routine, but this specifically is so good for not just also detoxing your scalp, but specifically for detoxing the actual length of your hair as well. And I these curls look so good, so good, so delicious, and I'm very excited because this is fixing to be an amazing wash right now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish up my wash. I am gonna shampoo, even though we did have apple cider vinegar in the clay mask, I still wanted to just double cleanse just to make sure that we got every bit of that clay mask out. I'm gonna do a hydrating treatment, I'm gonna style my hair, and then I'll be back to show you guys the final results of these curls. I'm really, yeah, I'm really <laughs> expecting this to be bomb though, so I'll be back. Ta-da! Okay, so here we have final results. I also left my face bare so we can get into the skin, but we gotta talk about the hair first because I am actually living. Okay, so the first thing that I realized was that when I was even applying product, it was like my hair accepted the products better because of the detox that we got from this clay mask. I'm also finding that my hair really, really enjoys that apple cider vinegar rinse as well. So with the clay mask being mixed in with the apple cider vinegar, I feel like it was a match made in heaven for these curls. I literally have not seen <laughs> my curls clump this good and so that kind of just taught me right now that like even when you don't think you have build up you got build up which is why a product like this is so 110 percent necessary i can already tell you this has officially just now today been added to my natural hair care regimen this is something that i'm actually going to reach for probably every three to four weeks or so. It's really gonna be as needed as my hair kind of tells me, you know, like, sis, I need a detox. Y'all, 
like you guys know my hair you know my hair and of course it's day one so that's why it's still looking pretty small in terms of dryness it is about I would say 95% dry there's just a couple spots in the back right here that are still a little bit damp but these parts that I'm showing you here like in the front are 100% fully dry and <laughs> This curl definition is crazy. I feel like it's also got shine. This is literally everything that my hair needed. Talk about a complete 180 from the way that we started this video. I definitely want to suggest a detox for you if you feel like you've been trying so hard to develop the perfect regimen for your curls you've been testing a bunch of products and your curls maybe came out right once and then after that you know you might be experiencing buildup and you really might need like a detox a little reset for your hair and i would 10 out of 10 recommend this clay mask i would also recommend it for your skin like do you see this I do have combination skin for reference, so I can tend to get a little oily in my T-zone and then drier on my cheeks. And my skin like looks amazing, but it also feels really good as well. I feel like sometimes around my nose, I can get a lot of texture and like, you know, those blackheads. Nada. She is smooth, sis. Like, it just feels really, really good. In terms of use for this mask for your skin, you can actually use it a lot more frequently than you would for your hair. So you can use it if you have, like, normal skin about once a week. If you're more like me, you tend to be a little bit oily, maybe combination, you can then try and use it maybe two to three times a week. And if you have, like, super, super oily, problem skin, very, very acne prone, then this is something that you can actually reach for as often as four times a week. We found something special today so if you guys are interested in shopping as usual I have links everything in the description box below and if you really are gonna go ahead and purchase this and try it for yourself please I want to see your excitement I want to see your shook face when you realize like oh my gosh this is everything I've ever needed kind of like how I felt today I want to see it all I want to see the curls flourishing pop in like i want to literally see it all so please don't forget to either tag me or dm me even send me an email everything is all linked in the description box below okay thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe that way you will never miss a new video ever again as we keep on exploring new holy grail products that get our lives together you know what i mean see you guys i will catch you in the next video bye Thank <laughs> you.